Hi, I'm Steve Gallia from Algonquin Fly Tying Supply, and today we're going to tie a fly that is a uh, marabou streamer pattern that is uh, quite popular in the United Kingdom, uh, but not so well known here in North America, and that's a shame because it's a really effective uh, fly. It is called the Cat's Whisker, because at one time they actually used cat's whiskers to uh, keep the marabou wing up. Um, we're not doing that these days. Um, let's uh, start um, with the materials. Um, you're going to need a um, 6 aught thread, maybe finer if you'd prefer, um, in a bright yellow color. Uh, this is a little bit uh, more uh, um, chartreuse yellow, but that's okay. I want something bright. Bright is what this fly is all about. Uh, the body is going to be made out of, um, traditionally it's made out of yellow uh, chenille, much like this, not too thick, um, just enough to, to form a hefty body. The wings and tail are going to use a white strung marabou. And uh, then last but not least, we're going to add a little bit of uh, flash to it. Typically it's um, silver flashaboo is what's used. Um, I'm going to use this um, lateral scale flashaboo type material because I just like the look of it. It's a really quick uh, um, fly to tie once you get the hang of it. So um, as always, so the first thing we do is we lay down a thread base starting one eye width back from the front of the hook. We're trying to get touching turns but it's not critical in this fly because um, the chenille is going to cover up a multitude of sins. But there you have it. You, uh, you do your thread wrap right back to the barb of the hook, clip off the excess, and then the next thing you do is uh, grab about a five inch um, piece of uh, chenille and you're going to need to tie it in. So if you're working with chenille, the first thing you do is you get the end you're going to tie in and you put it between uh, two fingernails and you keep um, dragging your fingernails across until you've exposed the core of the chenille, which is the thread that it's all built on. And then um, lay that atop the, the top of the hook at the tie-in point and um, tie it in. You want to make sure this is secured really nicely because uh, this is essentially the platform that the whole fly is built upon. So since you're uh, wrapping on the thread base you might as well go to the front of the thread base and back again to make sure you've got that chenille in and you stop back at the, the tying point um, you started at which is again just across from the barb right there. If you've got a material holder on your vise, now is the time to use it on your chenille. The next step is to put in the tail. The tail is a white marabou, as is the wing. Uh, very simple pattern, as I said. The idea of the tail is to make it no longer than the shank of the hook, which is basically from the back of the eye to the bend of the hook. And you want to um, make this tail just about that length. But you also want to uh, almost double up this piece of uh, marabou because you're going to use the front, the piece in front of the tail uh, to create an underbody for the fly. So um, there we have that done. When you've got that trimmed out you want to sort of run your hands through it to get all the loose pieces out. And I like to also uh, wet down that front portion that's going to be used as an underbody because it makes it a little bit easier to manage. So there's our tail, about the right length. We take that to the tie-in point. You get your thread. And you start um, making some loose wraps around the, uh, the section that's going to create the underbody. Um, when you've got it where you want it, um, you start uh, being a little uh, more aggressive with your thread, tightening things up to make a nice, even underbody. You'll see that um, fluff at the at the beginning of the hook there by the eye. I'm just going to trim that out a bit because that's not the kind of thing you want around the eye. You don't want to crowd that eye as we've talked about in previous videos. So again I'm going to um, bring my thread over that up and around and when, I, when I'm done and that underbody looks good I'm going to throw in a half hitch. I'm going to bring my bobbin cradle around put my bobbin on it and I'm going to now uh, free uh, my chenille from the um, from the material holder and I'm going to use the rotary function of my vise to create 
a nice um, a nice uh, chenille body. Um, the first part would be just getting around that marabou tail. Once you've done that, um, let's let's try to get this right so we cover it very nicely. So there we start. You just want to take your time. Make sure the chenille um, covers everything. Nice touching turns of chenille. So it's a really nice, neat, um, bright body, which is what this fly is all about. This fly is very bright, um, which makes it a real neat uh, fly to fish because it's very visual. So there is uh, my chenille hanging where it should, about one eye width back from the, uh, the hook, or the eye of the hook. I'm going to move my bobbin cradle out of the way. My bobbin is now in almost in position to um, to deal with that. I'm going to just bring the thread back a bit and bring that bobbin over that chenille a couple of times. It's a little clumsy because I've got a camera behind me here, but uh, I've got a couple of good turns now. Three turns, it's fairly secure. I'll lift the chenille, do a few turns in front to ensure that it's secure, then I'll clip off that excess. What you've got there, as you can see right now, you've got a, you've got a fly that right now, um, I would guarantee you that would catch fish if you put it in the water. But we can make it better and uh, follow the pattern by creating the wing. Um, that's prescribed on the pattern. And the wing is another uh, white piece of marabou. And what we do with that wing is we uh, we set it up so it's going to, once it lays flat, going to be about e equal to the end of the tail. So they're all going to sort of meld together. Uh, once they get well, they'll form a really nice um, uh, minnow profile. So I've got the length of that. I'm going to cut my marabou just ahead. Give myself a little bit of room to uh, to adjust um, but I'm not going to let go of it now. It's, once it's in my hand it's it's in the right location. I'm going to measure once more and once I've got it exactly where I want it I'm going to bring my th thread over first with a fairly uh, light loop then I tighten up um, about two three of these uh, turns a couple in front again and now it is time to, um, I guess we'll put a half hitch in front first. And uh, if I could see it. Okay, we'll, we'll uh, bring that back once again. And again, as I said, I'll try to get a half hitch in there. Um, now we're going to pull that half hitch, which will secure everything. Um, clean up that marabou bit. I'll bring the uh, scissors in to uh, to cut all that excess uh, marabou up top of the fly and uh, make the head a little bit neater. So well, there we've got a um, fairly manageable uh, bit of uh, the wing to work with and now you're going to tie in over where um, you want the head to be. So we're going to start on the basis of the head right here and that looks good. Um, I'm not going to finish it yet because the one uh, where the fly is essentially uh, finished at the head except for the uh, very last part of it which is to add about uh, three um, strands of uh, of flashaboo but tight material um, to the fly on each side to uh, give it a bit of flash as the name indicates. So I've cut my my three sections they're all fairly even at the end they don't have to be completely uh, you know exact but uh, you try to get them close and uh, once I've got that I'm going to take those three sections try and make them approximately the length of the wing Lay them beside the head, and one, two, three turns should hold it in place there. I'm going to bring the part that's extending from the front out to around my side, fold it back, and we're going to do this again. One, two, three, 
and they're in place now and now I'm going to create a really neat little uh, head so the fly looks nice and uh, finished. So I've got uh, the thread um, sitting where I want it to be. I'm going to bring my half hitch um, tool, half hitch, I'm sorry, whip finishing tool and uh, we're going to uh, whip finish near the back of the head. Five turn whip finish will do just fine. Bring it in and there we go. So all that's left now is to um, trim off um, the thread, which I will do as soon as I extract my scissors from the mess there. And then I'm going to look at these um, pieces of uh, flashaboo and also try to trim them roughly to the length of the tail. And there you go. And we'll, we'll uh, do a little bit of taming in place. And, and there it is. There's a finished fly except for the, the final um, part of it, which is to just add a little bit of head cement to uh, make that head a little more sh uh, shiny and, and mostly a little more durable. Try to uh, cover uh, the head. Just about one drop will do just fine. Now that fly um, doesn't really look like much. It's a you know, fairly simple fly, as I said, which is one of the reasons why uh, I would recommend it. It's easy to tie, simple. But you also have to understand that um, when this fly hits the water, this marabou is gonna, gonna lay flat like this Give a really nice minnow profile uh, with this um, flashaboo, a little bit of shine. And the marabou is a very, very lively material in the water. So it's really going to look alive, look like a small little minnow. Um, and uh, it's, it's a good fish catcher. So that's the cat's uh, whisker. Um, very easy pattern, but also one um, that's very useful on the water. So I hope you enjoyed that. This is Steve Gallia from Algonquin Fly Tying Supply. Um, have a great day. Visit our website at www.algonquinflytying.com. Take care.